Hey everyone, today I am going to show you how to record your screen on a Mac, and then I'm gonna show you how to record your screen with audio, which is a little more difficult. So let's start with recording just the screen. It's a little easier. So the first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna open up QuickTime Player. I like to open up apps by holding down Command and then Spacebar. I'm gonna type in QuickTime. There we go. And now you can see it's open up in the corner. I'm gonna press cancel on that. I'm gonna to go to file and then new screen recording. It's really that simple. Um, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click this record button and it's gonna give me the option to either drag and click where I want to record or I can do the entire screen just by clicking the screen. So I'm going to, just for the purposes of showing you how to do this, I'm gonna drag and get this area and then I will start recording that. And then let me put up a video that I wanted to record. There we go, this is the video I wanted. Getting the recording and I'm gonna stop it now. Pause this, hide it. And then look, there you go. I've got a recording, a screen recording. Pretty great. Now that I have this video, I can save it by doing Command S. And then I'm gonna call it Justin VR and save it on my desktop. Done, it's saving. So this is really great if you just want video recorded on your screen, but if you want audio recorded with the video, it takes a few more steps, but it can be done and I'll show you right now. So the first step you have to do is download Soundflower. I have a link in the description below. Download that. What may happen when you open up that package is it tells you you don't have permission. So the way to get around that is just go to system preferences and go to security and privacy. And you're going to have to unlock this just by putting in your code. And then right over here, it should be asking you if you want to allow this to be installed on your computer. And the answer is yes. Once that is installed on your computer, we have a few more steps. You'll want to open up audio MIDI setup. And right in here, you have to do two things. You're gonna to have to create both of these things that I have right here. So to create this, you're gonna click plus and then create aggregate device. Once that's open, you'll have to check off the built-in microphone and Soundflower 2H, which is now there because we downloaded Soundflower. Then you're going to have to go to the plus sign again and create multi-output device. So click that and then I called mine screen record with audio and then click the built-in output and Soundflower 2H. So basically these are gonna act as a conduit between your recording and the audio output, okay? So we have two more steps and then we're done. So now that you've done that, we can exit out of that. Next, you'll want to go to system preferences and then you're gonna go to sound. So right now your sound should be coming out of internal speakers. Um, what you're gonna wanna do now is you're gonna wanna have the output set to screen record with audio or whatever you named it. So click that, good, we're good. Now we're ready to record the audio with the screen recording. So um, let me open up QuickTime and cancel that again. And I'm gonna do new screen recording. And this time you see this little drop down menu, I'm going to go to Soundflower 2H. All right, so I am ready for my screen recording with audio. I click record, I'm gonna do the same little area, click start recording, and then I'm going to put up my video again. And this time, it should have audio. All right, so I'm recording it, and I'm gonna pause it now. And let's see, I'm gonna stop the recording and I'm going to change, in order to hear it, I'm gonna to have to change my system preferences back to uh, the sound, back to my internal speakers. And then let's see if it worked. As soon as you open up that box. Yeah, it did. There is my audio. First things first. So there you guys have it. That is my Tech Tip Tuesday, recording your screen on a Mac with audio and without. As always, subscribe to the channel for more tech videos and tech tips. I'm Justin, and I'll tech you later.